Hey there, everybody. This is for 3.2.8 cooking. So we need to use, as the assignment says, the math class to generate a random number between zero and 60. But random only creates a number between zero and one. So it includes zero, but doesn't include one. So that's important to know. So if, uh, so we're using a for loop here, so we can just print out a bunch of these at once, just so you guys can see the range of things that's happening here. So let's create a random number. I'm going to do math.random. And then we'll just kind of see what happens here. And then we'll just print it out. And then we'll do random number. Okay. So now if we run this, you or we will get a bunch of numbers here. Just so you know, I'm not lying. Oh my goodness. I don't want to read horizontally. Are you kidding me? All right. So as you can see in the one spot, it's all zeros. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. So now we get a number between zero and that. So now if we multiply this by 10, it'll move the decimal point over one, which will help us get a little bit closer. So now if we just focus on the ones place, we go from zero and then we go all the way up to nine, but you'll notice that there's no tens anywhere in here. Find it, you get a thousand dollars. All right, so if I want to go to 10, what I need to do is just add one to it. So now if we run this, now you can see now we're starting to get tens, but we still go down to zero. So now um, this is the range. So if we go from zero, including zero up to, up to 10, that's a range of 11 different numbers. So now if we want to go up to 60, we just got to change this to a six. Now, this should stay at 61 so that we can get up to 60 because it'll go from, it'll go all the way up to 60.9999999. And yeah, so let's run this just to kind of prove it to you. And you guys can mess around with it too. So it goes up to 60, but it still goes down to zero. And if you look in here, your super eyes, you'll see that it never goes up to 61. Now, this is all wonderful and stuff, but I don't want decimals. So what we can do is we can use ran, uh, round, but a better way to do it, a quicker way to do it is just cast it to an integer. And it'll just chop off all of the goodness. So let's do that. So we can do int. And then we're gonna go ahead and round this entire thing. We're not round it, we're gonna chop it off. And then now this is no longer a double, it's just an integer. So now we go all the way down from zero all the way up to 60. And again, no 61s anywhere to be found. So that's how you do that one. Okie dokie. Hope that helps. Bye-bye.